victory will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the Texas Longhorns and the Florida Atlantic Owls. The college football season continues, and i got to tell you, Lee and Kirk, I am ready for this game. And here come the Owls. The Longhorns are definitely the favorites in this one. How do you think this will play out, Kirk? Florida Atlantic has spent all week trying to figure out how they're going to slow this running back down. In my opinion, they could have spent all year. It still won't matter. He's going to have a big day and a big win. Atlantic is lined up for the opening kickoff, so here we go. He sends it off. Pratt fields it at the three. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. question as to who the star player on this offense is? It all starts on the ground, Brad. And one player I think Dad. this team can't do without is this uh -huh. kid at tailback. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I had to predict the player of the game right now, then I'd have to find money on this running back. If this kid doesn't go over 100 yards today, I'd be very surprised. Me too. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. High formation here. Brown takes the give. Alfred with a takedown at the 48-yard line. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. I like this kid. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. First down, 10 yards to go. Set. Texas comes to the line with three wide. Uh -huh. Lane hands it off straight ahead. A little juke to the 20. And he's all the way down to the seven-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Threatening inside the 20. The Longhorns come to the line with their jumbo package. They're on a counter. Power takes him down for a loss. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. At the end, they're able to wrap him up. the 11-yard line. Second down. Set. Texas comes out in the shotgun. Uh, uh, Lane, back to pass. He throws right. That's incomplete. I'm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. up in the shotgun. Lane drops back to pass. Lane lets it fly. It's it. The defense needed that. How about the move here by this quarterback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. This should be an easy field goal. This kick will be about a 28 or 29 yarder. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. It's up. And it is good. And now we'll take 
take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Goddard from his own end zone. A little juke. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They'll get the ball here at the 19-yard line. Smith with three wide receivers. Drop back to pass. Smith guns it right side. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Smith gains four yards on that reception. Second down and six. Ball on their own 23. Set. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. Third down. Set the Owls blue. line up with a single set backfield. Smith back to throw. Stepping up. Playing it out there. He's got his man beat. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and let me say one thing. This defense was up to the task that time in shutting down the pass play. Yeah, they shut it down, and they got the three and out they were looking for. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Pratt back deep to return. Set. Hey. Punts the ball away. Signals for a fair catch. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. They'll go to work at the 38. The Longhorns line up with three wide. He broke his ankles. tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. I think this such a natural runner. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40. The Longhorns. Line up in a goal line formation. Sweep left. Hamilton takes him down for a loss. They were trying to stretch it to the sidelines, but the defense was just too quick. Those guys were in the back field so fast, I thought they were going to pick it off. Second down. High formation here. Lane steps back to pass. It is he throws incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. If he didn't hold on to the ball so long, Kirk, he wouldn't have got drilled like that. From the 43-yard line, third and 13. Seven. The Owls bring in the nickel package. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look at the throw. Steps up. Lane. Six and left. Defensive effort. Yeah, the deflection prevented them from getting any yards. And now it's fourth down. Texas lining up the punt. Martinez to punt. Uh. 
It's a high kick, and it holds up there. Evans signals for a fair catch, and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. They're in the eye. First down, he guns it. Found his man. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. This up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by the quarterback, too. Don't forget about the guy who's throwing the ball all over the field. for the point after. Set. Hey, hey. He makes the PAT. Under a minute now in the first quarter. The score, Florida Atlantic 7, Texas 3. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Decent kick. Pratt fields it at the one. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll set up shot at the 21-yard line. up in the deep back, eye formation. They go with the option. He laterals the ball. So he gets maybe a yard on the option. Second down and nine to go. Comes to the line with three wide. Lane drops to throw. He throws it. And it's incomplete. Oh, you got to hit the open man. That's a painful incompletion for the offensive coordinator to watch. From their own 22-yard line. Here's third and nine. The Longhorn. Come out showing three wide. Play fake across the middle. And he can't hang on to it. He was the intended receiver on that pass. They're going to be forced to punt away here. one away. Set. Martinez is the punter. Hut. He gets it away. Bryant fields it to the 37. Well, the offense is back on the field again in their last drive. They moved the ball very well, especially through the air on their way to that touchdown. Offense will start at the 39 yard line. Set. They're in the eye. Hey. Smith still has it, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The linebacker brought down the quarterback before he could find an open man. Something tells me he would have gotten punished even if he did find an open man. That was coming in hard. 
long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Florida Atlantic 7, Texas 3. They line up at the 34. It's second and 15. They'll work from the shotgun. Hut! Hut! Smith steps back to pass. He flings it. Incomplete pass. He put just a little too much power behind that throw to his receiver. Oh, boy, guys. I think he'd like that pass back. Yeah, Kirk, he won't miss that receiver too often. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 34. Set. Smith with three wide receivers. Hut! Smith drops back, slips it short, picked off. Well, that's his first pick of the year, and it could not have come at a better time. Yeah, he made a great play on the ball, and in a close game like this, that turnover can be very significant. start this drive at the 34-yard line. The Longhorns come out in a shotgun. Hut! Hut! Gets it to the back. Mid move. Jameis tackles him at the 34. He may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. shotgun here. It goes straight to the back. Takes a move. And they got him for a loss. They got him all bottled up before he could go anywhere. Third down and 12 to go. up for the shotgun set. Uh, 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 Lane steps back to pass. He lets it go. Got it. He's all the way down to the eight-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Yeah, the defensive coordinator will not be happy about giving up those kind of yards on third down. It's first and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. Set. Texas sets up in the eye. Hut! Hut! Pratt sweeps left. And they make the stop at the one. Pratt gets seven yards on the play. Second down and goal. About a yard to Pater. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Set. Hut. Hut. Gets it right side. Pearson gets in the backfield for a loss. They lost too much yardage that time. What do you think, Coach? I think you can't blame the back on that one. I don't care how good an athlete you are. You're not going to be able to showcase your abilities without some block. It's third and goal. Five yards to the goal line. Play. Let me tell you why. He had good blocking up front. A halfback who runs hard. What else can you ask for when you're inside the 10-yard line? Now the extra point to take a field goal lead. Right for the extra point. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Texas 10, Florida Atlantic 7.
Francis is ready to kick it away. Bryant and Goddard back deep to return. He hits a booming kick. Bryant fields it in the end zone. Looks like we've got an injured player down there. Can't tell who it is yet. It doesn't look like it's too bad, but the trainers are going to take a look anyway. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Set. Florida Atlantic comes out in the shotgun. Hut, hut. 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 Smith drops the throw. Throw short. That's incomplete. Whaley was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. They line up at the 24, so it's second and 10. Set. The Owls line up with three wide. Hut, hut. Back to pass. Lobs it. Got his man on the run. What a throw and catch, guys. I'll tell you what, this young kid has a real gun for an arm. He sizes up the play well, and he gets the ball out of there. Third down. They're in the eye. Hut. Hut, hut. Hut, hut, hut. Smith still has it. He delivers. And that one's fallen incomplete. Andriano was the intended target. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Florida Atlantic lining up the punt. Foster is waiting for the snap. Hey. Foster punts it away, and this one's got some distance. Pratt takes it at the 20. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll get the ball here at the 27. the ace formation. Uh, 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 Lane drops back to pass. Throws it. And it's caught. Tackle made at the 31. Texas takes a timeout and they'll have two remaining. It's second and six. Ball on the 31. The Longhorn are lining up with three receivers. He steps up, he lets it go, and he's tackled right away. Roberson is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. First down. Lines up with three wide receivers. Uh, 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 Lane drops back to pass. Across the middle, it's complete. He's taken down at the 38. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass off. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. First down. the shotgun. Hut. Hut. It goes straight to the back. He breaks it. He's all the way down to the 13-yard line. Texas will call a timeout. That was their second timeout. Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Set, hut. 
Lane drops back on first down. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. They line up at the 13. Second down, 10 yards to go. Three wideouts here. Brought down at the 11. A two-yard run by the halfback. for the extra point. Set! Cut. He makes the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. Get set to kick this one away. Bryant and Goddard back ready to return. And this is just a booming kick. Goddard from his own end zone. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. Line up in an I formation. Hut. Hut, hut. Hut. Drops back on first down. Stepping up. Rolls right. Wants to throw outside. Matt is home. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Bryant was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up second down. Hut. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. Set. Florida Atlantic comes out with an eye formation. Hey, hey. Oh, to juke. McNeil with a takedown at the 27. About five yards there on the fullback carry. Third and five. Ball on the 27. We've reached halftime here. The score at the break. Texas, 17. Florida Atlantic, 7. Second half just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He sends it off. Goddard fields it at the three. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. From their own 17-yard line, we've got a second and 14. Set. Schmidt comes to the line with three wide. Set. Schmidt 
drops the throw. He's looking for his man. It falls incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. They line up at the 17. It's third down. Texas comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Smith steps back to pass. Caught at the point. Across midfield. At the point. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And it pays off. Touchdown. They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Black mistakes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you would get. within a field goal. Set. Hey. And he adds the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, Texas 17, Florida Atlantic 14. Take it away. And it's off. Pratt fields it at the two. He jukes him. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. find themselves on top to start the second half, and I think we all know why. Are you kidding me? Everyone who's at home Dad. watching this game knows why they're winning uh, the running game. Uh, the running game? Uh, More like the running back. Uh, He's the main reason they went into the half with the lead. You're right, Kirk. I guess it shouldn't come as a surprise, though. I mean, that, isn't he on the cover of the media guy? Well, I couldn't tell you who's on the cover of the media guy, but I can tell you is that this young man is going to be the reason they win this football game. Just keep giving him the ball, and he'll pick up the yards while the clock runs down. They line up at the 34. Second down. They line up in an eye. Lane looks it right. And now he's going to throw it. Caught. Scott brings him down at the 46-yard line. Hey, the kid throws a nice pass. He need to put him underneath the center a bit more after that one. Yeah, I think he's pretty good at his normal position, but I like how the coach uses him once in a while for some good play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Lane with three wide receivers. Lane to the air on first down. He passes an incomplete pass. Reed was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. Second and ten. Lane comes to the line with three wide. Lane with the give. Excellent open field tackle. Pratt comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll bring up third down. They line up at the 41. Third down. up in a shotgun set. Lane, back to throw. Throws to the middle. Found his man. Singletary with a takedown at the 28. So on third down, he finds his receiver and gets a big gain. Yeah, we saw these guys on Wednesday in practice, and they ran this play over and over for about 20 minutes. Well, if you can get it right in practice, then you usually can get it right in the game as well. It's first down. Comes 
to the line, only one man in the backfield. Pratt gets the call again. He's into the open field. Sack with the tackle at the 12-yard line. And he goes over the century mark with that run, guys. You know, Brad, he's had a great day, but credit the offensive line for fine blocking all game long. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters the most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Touchdown, Longhorn. They keep it on the ground, and this halfback picks up another touchdown. And the success of this running back is mostly due to the great push of his offensive line. You know what I like about this kid? He's the first person to give those big hog mollies up front credit. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. Set! Hut. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Goddard fields it in the end zone. He jukes. <laughs> Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. Hey, if you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. High formation here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Smith still has it. Sack for a loss at the 10. They couldn't get him blocked up that time. And something tells me they won't be able to get him blocked up the next time either. This kid is a force out there. We'll probably be hearing his name for some time to come because he's only in his first year on the field. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Florida Atlantic comes out with five receivers. Drops back to pass. Steps up, and now he pitches it. The ball came free. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. And the offense came up with a ball somehow. The quarterback was very fortunate right there. You can bet he holds on to the ball with both hands next time he gets it. They line up at the nine. We've got third and long here. The defense is playing the pass on this one. Drops back to pass. There he goes. He tries to stiff arm. And they finally push him out at the 36-yard line. And that's what makes this quarterback so special, fellas. Hey, Kirk, this kid is flying all over the place. You can't see enough about it. You know, with speed like that, even if he doesn't handle it as a quarterback, I think he'll be a great receiver at the next level. It's first down. Set. They'll work from the shotgun. Hey, hey. Smith on the option. A lateral. Shot with a takedown at the 41-yard line. Five yards. Right, we've got a second and five. Ball on their own 41. Set. Smith with three wide receivers. Hut, 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 hut. Smith hands it off. Good move. Smack in time. Hits him in the backfield. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. So we've got one more quarter to play, and our score in this game is Texas 24, Florida Atlantic 14.
line it up again on third down. The Owls are lining up with three receivers. Goddard gets the call. Spindle, Jackson tackles it for a loss on the play. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. <laughs> Lord Atlantic lining up the punt. Pratt is back awaiting the punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Pratt fields at the 18. Well, guys, as this offense takes the field, tell me what you think they need to do to get back in the game. Well, Brett, they still have two possessions. I think they have to get into the end zone on this drive. No doubt about it, Coach. Time is running out. And if they want a chance to win this game, then they need a score right here. Seven-yard line. Pratt picks up about four yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. It's second down. it away, and this one's got some distance. Bryant fields it at the 27. It's a little late in the game to be punting with a two-possession deficit, don't you think, Coach? I think so, but this coach has a lot of faith in his defense. The problem is that he needs his offense to step up and put points on the board. And they can't do that when they're catching wind on the bench. The offense will take over at the 30. The Owls line up with three wide. Schmidt drops back. Schmidt goes down with a sack. And guys, it can't feel good to be sacked by that guy. I saw him with a box of pizza last night. Then when he came off the bus this morning, he had more pizza. No wonder he's a giant. Yeah, coach. He tipped the scales at over 300 pounds. Hey, as long as he keeps making plays like that, I don't care what he is. Folks, your Coca-Cola players of the game. They really earned it out there today. Lord Atlantic comes to the line with three wide. Smith with a nice play fan. And it's the big fella who got in there. For being such a big fella, he can sure move pretty good. Oh, yeah, Kurt. You didn't call him big fella when you saw him at the hotel. The Owls call for a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. that takes the field on fourth down. Drops back to pass. He looks. Looking deep to the right. And this one's going to get intercepted. So 
So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. This drive will start at the 49-yard line. Lane lines up in the shotgun. Set, 16, bingo! Uh -huh. Pratt takes a handoff. And he's taken down at the 47. Florida Atlantic will take a timeout. That was a third and final timeout. They line up at the 47. It's second down and eight. This should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he takes a knee. From the 49-yard line, third down and 10 coming up. Lane comes to the line with three wide. came out here very focused and they took care of business nice nice win for this football team